guys, it's Brittany Bear Makeup here and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be so fun because for the first time ever on my channel, I'm gonna be doing a style haul. I'm really pumped to show you guys some amazing outfits that I found. Some are very inexpensive and some are definitely higher end, but I'm gonna play a little game for you guys and let you guys decide which one you think I spent more money on and which one you think I got for a lower price. So guys, make sure you turn on your post notifications so you can be a part of my bear family. Like, share, comment, and as always guys, hit that subscribe button and keep on watching as I show you guys some amazing outfits that I'm positive you guys are gonna love. You are now, now rocking with Britney, bitch. Alright Bear Fam, so I'm gonna go ahead and dive right in and show you guys the outfits that I picked out. So I'm gonna do these out of order and while I do them, I want you guys to guess which one you thought I paid a little bit more money for. So the first outfit is this cute little two-piece set and it comes in this beautiful green shade. It has floral print on it, it scrunches, and it's also a halter top, which is super cute because you can also wear this top with like a pair of high-waisted denim shorts or even like a pair of high-waisted jeans. So this is very versatile. I also love the fact that it came with these super cute little like comfy capris. It has that same stretchy band up top and also I like that it has this cute little band on the side that just ties and kind of just brings you in and gives you like a really nice waistline. The fabric of the pants and the top is super like thin and flowy and I feel like it's so perfect for summer or spring or when it gets like a little bit hotter because it's one of those materials that you could still feel like a breeze through which I love. I also love the fact that it has these slits at the bottom so when I'm walking like down the street they open up and I just look like so fabulous and extra and this is definitely like a really really cute outfit. So this is outfit number one. I went ahead and accessorized this which is cute little studs to kind of give it like that girly vibe. And then I also did like this really cute like combat pointy boot. So these are actually from Lola Shooty, and I feel like it gave it such a like funkiness to the outfit. It took something that was like so cute and subtle and summery and turned it into like I'm about to stunt on the world. So that was outfit number one. This is outfit number two. So this is like a really cute soft baby blue dress. It has this ruching right in the front so it kind of gives you like that really cute accent on the boobs. It also has like this little scrunchie tie so that you can tighten it and just make it accentuate you a little bit more. What I loved about this dress is it has this little keyhole right here. It literally shows your skin and it's just really sexy and super cute and during the summer you definitely want to show a little bit of skin so I love the fact that it has that. So on the bottom it once again has that ruching and I love this because I am literally built like SpongeBob. I like to fake hips and when I have ruching on the side, it kind of accentuates my hips and it just makes everything look a lot more snatched at the waist and a little bit more dramatic on my hips. So this is definitely like a really good style of outfit to wear for myself and my body type and I love the fact that I can tighten it a little bit more and actually make the dress shorter. When I was trying to accessorize with this outfit, I didn't want to do too much. I thought it would be really cute to kind of pull an accent color from the dress. So what I did is I went ahead and paired it with a pop of color on the shoes and I did like this beautiful pink shoe. This one is actually from Shoe Dazzle and it straps up. It's really cute. It's like a little wedge type of sandal heel. So it's not too like over the top. I feel like it's perfect for summer if you were going to like a daytime wedding or maybe if you had like some daytime events to attend. Definitely a beautiful dress to wear. So it's now time for me to reveal the prices of the first category which is like my daytime summer outfit. So the first outfit, outfit number one, goes for a whopping $41. So the next outfit, which was outfit number two, went for $85 and I purchased it at Nordstrom's. It is more pricey, but I have to say I did love it. So did you guys guess that one right? I wanna know how well you guys did. Let's see if you guys can stay all the way to round number three and see if you guys can guess each one right. So we are now on round number two and this category is going to be like a sexy date night. So here it is. It is this beautiful, sexy emerald green dress with lace detailing on it. So what I love about this outfit is the material is extremely thick. I love the fact that it has this lace detailing on it. It makes everything just feel so much more expensive, so beautiful, just so over the top and glam. So the top of the dress also has this beautiful detailing on it. I love the fact that it has like these tiny little like wave-like patterns. It just accentuates my chest 
this and it makes it look so much more sexier. It is a spaghetti strap, so if you guys like that, this is definitely something that you will love. So one of the features about this dress that I absolutely fell in love with was the fact that it actually stops to about above the knees and the rest of it is like see-through lace so you can actually see like your legs and it's super sexy and overall this dress is just a knockout like you will look amazing in it for accessories I wanted to keep it simple I went ahead and added just this beautiful gold earring as well as bracelets for the shoe I went ahead and chose a nude shoe I thought it was just perfect to keep the attention on the dress it didn't take away from the dress it just kept everything focused on the actual dress itself but I'm gonna go ahead and show you outfit number two and then I want you guys to see which one you thought I paid a little bit more money for so here is outfit number two right off the bat I love the fact that it is red so when I found this dress I just fell in love with how striking the color is and I think women just look so sexy in red so I wanted to show you guys the detailing on the side I love how it ruches on the side once again when I'm shopping I always want to look for outfits that are going to accentuate my waist make me look my best figure wise and something like this definitely does that for me it just adds all the drama on the side and it creates that beautiful snatched waist that I love I also love the fact that it is a v-neck so it's a super sexy low-cut v-neck it gives you that once again sexy chest that we all want to see when we're going on a date night we got to show a little skin ladies I also love the fact that it is spaghetti strap so this kept it very minimal and I love that about this dress for the accessories I went ahead and kept it simple once again I paired it with a very thin gold necklace and gold earrings as well I then went ahead and added a matching red shoe I actually got this one at Windsor I got it a while back ago but these actually come in handy so often when I want to wear like a white dress or something just to give it a pop of color I have a feeling that you guys are gonna be super shocked when you hear how much one of these outfits costs so the total of the emerald green dress cost me $159. I purchased this dress at Nordstrom's and I have to say I love the dress. It was amazing. I was just blown away by the dress. Dress number two. This dress cost $9.88. And you guys are never gonna believe where I found it. I found this beautiful red sexy dress at Walmart. This goes to show guys, money doesn't matter as long as you slay the game. With that being said, we have our last and final round. Are you guys ready to see if you can pass this round and guess all three of them correctly? So round number three, the final and last round, you guys are definitely gonna be shook again. So look number one is this beautiful black sexy dress we got going on here. It has an open v-neck once again so it accentuates the chest. Embellishment on the corner with the ruching so that you can go ahead and tie it to your liking and just give you that little like pop in the hip. I also love the fact that this is a very like thick linen material so it just feels expensive, it feels heavy. Everything about it just feels like this is a really nice dress to wear. Because this is the casual category, I didn't want to be over the top, but I didn't want to look basic as well. So I went ahead and paired it with this cute little belt that I got. I love the fact that it just has this pop of gold onto it and it just kind of adds as a focal point to the dress as opposed to just having a very plain black dress. Even though it's super cute on, something like this definitely just ups the game. I also went ahead and paired it with a pair of cute bangles. The same one that I showed you in the previous outfit. So for this look, because I wanted to make it more casual once again I went with this really cute black boot this once again is from Lola Shootique I love their shoes I love how affordable they are and they're definitely just really cute shoes to wear all the time so this my friends is look number one look number two starts with this really cute very simple flowy shirt I love this shirt so much because it's very very lightweight it is perfect for summer because it is once again a spaghetti strap I also love that it has like this sweet swoopy neckline it just kind of falls right into place where it shows enough cleavage to where you look presentable but you still have that sexiness to it this is just overall such a staple in my closet I feel like I can wear this with denim I can wear this with so many just different things for the denim I wanted to pair it with something super cute and super versatile so these are the shorts they have this cute little distressed back pocket as well as the bottom fringe so I went ahead and paired that top with was once again my black Lola Shootique boots and for the accessories I went ahead and added a pair of bangles
bangles as well as some hoop earrings. Toss my hair up in a little doodle just to make the whole outfit come together look super cute and super casual. So the first dress from this series cost me a total of $23. I actually purchased it from Forever 21. It is so thick and I just feel like it looks and feels expensive. So look number two was definitely the more expensive outfit. This one cost me a total of $74 for the top and the bottom. This one actually came from Nordstrom's once again. So Nordstrom's was my place to go for my more higher end outfits. I'm so curious to see how well you did. Don't forget to leave me comments down below letting me know if you guys got them right, which outfits you guys love the most, and which one of them you would personally rock yourself. Maybe you hated them, maybe you love them. I wanna know regardless. If you guys like tutorials like this, then don't forget to give me a big ol' thumbs up, like, share, comment, and as always guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see all of my bear family in the next video. Bye guys.